Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 28 and the penultimate video in our optical dot punch series. In this video, we're going to be creating some um, the actual punch part of the project from some 12mm silver steel rod and we're going to be hardening it up so that it can uh, take some impacts on that point. So first off, we're going to turn the point on the lathe. There's going to be less of a focus on the machining because it's really a simple part this time and we're going to look at the hardening process in some depth. So the machining of this item is fairly standard. The compound slide has been set to 60 degrees and the tool post has been moved to take into account of the tight angle. However, what is interesting is that the tool is now mounted on the back and the spindle is going to be run in reverse so that the burr created falls on the point side, or rather there is no burr, it's machined off, rather than being a burr forming on the edge of the, um, of the punch, which will prevent it from going into the holder. So with the silver steel clamped concentrically in a collet chuck, we can now begin the turning operation. The chuck is running backwards and we're using a 55 degree tool to turn that point without a chamfer and a big thanks to Sabino, our technician, for demonstrating this technique. Before we can use the punch, however, we need to heat treat it. And we need to heat treat it to change the crystal structure and if we'll take a look through this microscope setup, we can see the crystalline structure. We can see the areas of white ferrous material and black carbon material and by heating it up, we can make it a great deal harder. But let's look at an experiment first before we do that. So we've seen that metals are crystal structures and we can change that crystal structure and therefore the hardness and toughness of the material by heat treatment. So here's a quick example just with a couple of bobby pins. The first one, untreated, straight out of the box, is ductile and deformed plastically. And we bend it and it'll stay bent like that. I'm just going to quickly heat treat this. So I'm going to heat up to um, red hot and I'm going to quench it in some water. So now we're going to quench it in water really quickly and that'll actually be cool enough to touch now. And we've changed the crystal structure so that instead of it being very ductile, when we bend this, it'll snap in half. So actually the material is very, very hard, but it's now extremely brittle. So what we need to do is make sure that we are treating the silver steel correctly, heating up to the right temperature and quenching at the right, way, at the right rate, else we're going to end up with a very hard but brittle structure. A quick Google has shown that silver steel has a high carbon content and is ideal for a hardenable application. So in addition to its extremely tight tolerances, which is perfect for the limits and fit, by heating it up to the right temperature we can get it extremely hard. And according to this data sheet, to harden it we need to get it to 770 degrees. So without an infrared heat measuring system we need another method of measuring that temperature. And the traditional way is to use a colour chart. And according to the same website, if we get it to about cherry red, then we're going to get to 760, 770, and that is the ideal temperature for quenching in water and getting that pot hard finish that we need for a punch. So now we need to harden the tip, and according to our colour chart, we need to get that to 770, which is red. So now we've got it glowing at a red, and that's going to be about 760, 770, and now need to quench in water. With that red hot, we quench in the water. And now we just need to test the hardness and compare it to our control sample. So now we're going to do a pretty unscientific test, but we're going to test the harden punch against the control non-harden punch just by stamping it into the plate and um, seeing if there's any deformation on the tip. So to make this unscientific test as scientific as possible, I'm going to give it three hard strikes. And again with the hardened sample. Now this is the results, it's absolutely night and day. There at the front is the non-hardened control sample which has been totally rounded off. And in the background there is the hardened sample which still maintained its nice sharp point. So hardening at 770 degrees, absolutely perfect for silver steel. So if you like these videos, do subscribe, like and comment. 
and tune in for the next video in which we'll produce perhaps the hardest part of the project, the optical lens, and we're going to do some CNC turning and some flame polishing.